Nigerians are on the edge, are on edge regarding insecurity that is becoming more rampant across the country. Scores of passengers were abducted by kidnappers suspected to be headsmen who blocked the Enugu Port Harcourt Highway. The government, numbering about 30, abducted the entire occupants of the three buses. The heavily armed bandits also attacked a team of soldiers deployed to the scene and set the military van on fire. Before moving the victims into the bush, meanwhile, soldiers of the Guard Brigade of the Nigerian Army have continued to raid forests in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Niger, Kogi, and Kaduna states in search of terrorists, bandits, and kidnappers. The operation yielded positive results with the arrest of several terrorists, destruction of their camps, and recovery of arms, weapons, and other logistics. The first uh, phase of the script, mm. that um, Inugu Port Harcourt, I was that um, government number to 30 abducted the entire occupant of three buses mm. and the heavily armed bandits attacking a team of soldiers deployed to the scene. You know, it's, it's not new. Um, even the east-west road, some parts of the east-west road are very dangerous. This idea of um, kidnapping entire passengers in a bus actually became popular along uh, the east-west road, the Port Harcourt end of the east-west road. You just see, in fact, there's a, a portion on that highway that is notorious for that. They will just direct them into the bush. Before it became common in the northwest, it was already a commonplace in along the east-west road mm -hmm. for a commuter bus filled with people Hmm. to be hijacked by, by bandits who would then lead them into the bush and begin to extort money. You know, they've been doing that for years. But this one must have been so well planned. Enugu Port Harcourt um, Highway. Then they also attacked soldiers that were coming to help the people and set the, their vehicles ablaze. I mean, their vehicle ablaze. We have to know that we are dealing with a very, very difficult problem. Banditry is not um, a not an affair alone. It's not uh, localized to the north or the northwest or north central. It is in every part of our country. This is evidence that we have to buckle up the security forces are to buckle up because this kind of attack can happen anywhere. So you have to be ready. I'm sure for some time we didn't read about uh, this kind of event along that road. And suddenly, mm. they, they just they decided to strike there. By tomorrow or next night, you start hearing of ransom and all that. Someone has said that the biggest business in our country today is banditry, kidnapping for money. The more successful these guys are at it, the more difficult it is to get them to stop. Any business with a high profit margin, Nigerians will take a life rather than give it up. Mm. So this is what now everyone now thinks that, look, this kidnapping thing, they, they have to, because, look, it's, it is uh, easier than uh, armed robbery. It's easier to execute even than armed robbery. So this is, this is what we are seeing. The, the army, the armed forces have a lot of work to do. I'm happy that they've gone into the um, forest in the Buari area, you know, to deal with these boys. But these are things that we should have been doing, like even mm, the, on a routine it, basis, yeah. not just in response to mm. attack on us. We've got to take the battle to yeah. them. We know Brilliant, where they yeah. are. Be proactive. And... Some of these bandits, you, you want to describe them as ragtag, but what they use, what they deploy in facing our military is always something that baffles me. Ah, the ransom they collect, they used to buy rifles. They are, they are well trained and they are, they, they are well trained. They are well trained on how to handle the, the harms. 
My own problem is that why do we always have to react? The one that was reported now, uh, the one that happened on that road, said um, a military van came, they opened fire. Why was there no backup? Why did those people go scot free? Put those, uh, they said they were about 30 in number, and they were, nobody could trace them. Why don't we just have a more serious way of responding to these things? Is this how this country will be? You know, just recently, hmm, my seven year old boy was saying something. He said, I want to be president of Nigeria when I grow up. We laughed over, we were all amused. But then I, I became sober. I said, by the time you grow up, will there be in Nigeria? We should not use our own hands to just bring down this country. There's no, if you don't deal decisively with insecurity, yeah. then you, of, there may not be Nigeria here anymore. It I don't is, pray. That, I don't pray that that happens. In, so we have talked about having sustained, the sustained measures. Somalia. Against this, okay. okay now the Taliban they, are now we are responding. <laughs> we are resp they, are, they are coming from. We are responding now to the attack on the brigade guards. Now is that the end of the story? <laughs> is that the end of the story? Now you deal with them. You route them. You go to sleep. Many of them will run from th those places mm. to other places and, and they will continue. Still come back. No, they will come, come, back. Back. They will come back. So there should be sustained efforts. These no. are criminals. They must be dealt with. They must be exterminated. Gide, another big problem we have and we're not looking at is we are almost outnumbered in terms of the number of these guys, these bandits, mm. the way they, they are exploding, the population, they are, they are growing in, in terms of population and to the boots we have on ground. Of course. Um, a lot of them are foreigners. They are recruiting foreigners. Go and look at the video. Um, that the bandits shot after they kidnapped those FGC um, Benin Yaoi um, students. Go and look at the video. If you are familiar with our own people here, you will know that a good number of those guys carrying those weapons, they are not Nigerians. Yeah. They are not Nigerians. Not testy. Yes. Look, remember when I went to uh, to um, Kassina, the border with Zamfara, yeah. to do a story about bandits yes. in 2019. Yeah. The that, women, there was a woman that they killed the, uh, the husband. The woman described the people who attacked the community. And he said, look, these are Barai Hilani. And she said their hair was long. You know that those, uh, those uh, mm. uh, 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 people? That mm, they are only the very long. They mm. are not. They are not Nigerian. Not Nigerian. Yes. You can't see them. Say this is Nigerian Fulani with the hair very long like that. The woman described them. They are not. Mm. Um, they are not our people. But we are so wide open that all kinds of uh, illegal aliens come into our country. Mm. Some of them even vote in our elections. Okay. They come into <laughs> our Some country and easy. then begin to kill our people. Mm. So they, with the sources that they are recording, somebody told me something. I've not. I've not found out if it's true. He said ransom money from Nigeria is now being used to develop some parts of Niger Republic. Mm. That mm. some buildings that were not there before are materializing that ransom money is being funneled mm. to develop because a good number of those guys that, operating sad. here mm. are non Nigerians. So exactly. some of the money that they make here. They, 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 they take it back it to, their, their, to their country. So this is the thing. We have to uh, protect our borders, stop yes, these illegal aliens from coming into yes, our country sir. to kill our people. That's well, the thing. And they easily mix up with the population. But they can't, they're identifiable. That's, it. That's the thing. No, they, they are. They, are, they can't identify them easily. Then why can't we do something about them? In Borno State now, there was a story that I read uh, some days back of an Arab that was, mm. that was arrested came to fight uh, with Boko Haram, to fight for Boko Haram. They, uh, Arab. I, I know that thing.